case. So far, it has not, and those involved are increasingly worried about the impact. The government has put the figure up this week by 3%. A seven pence rise to two pounds forty one from two pounds thirty four. Andrew Selly is the chief executive of Bid Food, which is one of the largest uh, food wholesalers in the UK. What we know is that over the last ten years, the amount of money that the government provides for free school meals has only gone up by one point seven percent, which obviously was well behind inflation even before this last twelve months. So we can see that that's going to leave some difficult decisions for school caterers. Either they're going to serve potentially smaller portions or cheaper ingredients, which isn't going to be good for the children. Let's talk to Jackie Blake, who is chair of the Lead Association for Caterers in Education. They represent uh, uh, local school caterers. Uh, good morning to you. Good morning. So Andrew Selly was talking to us there, actually before this rise, he was talking to us uh, last month, and what he was suggesting is that there does need to be a significant rise, and that basically, can we be clear, that that, in your view hasn't happened? No, absolutely not. Um, The figure that was announced this week um, is completely inadequate. The biggest issue for our members is that the cost of inflation is skyrocketing. And at the moment, um, on average, we're looking at a minimum 10% increase and in majority of products are a 20% increase. So a 2.9 increase in our funding um, is completely inadequate. And if I could just add as well, um, that money that, that is um, provided to schools is not ring-fenced, so quite often caterers will not receive the full amount. Uh, and what kind of products, then, are we talking about caterers potentially not being able to buy or, 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 or just having fewer of? So at the moment, a number of our members have already started to substitute. So, for example, um, we always have a traditional roast Uh, at least once in the week and um, we're starting to see that things like well certainly lamb and definitely now beef um, as a roast uh, will be disappearing from the menu and starting to look at substitutions particularly ready for the menu in September Um, so we're very clear our members really want to provide that hot healthy nutritious meal for pupils because we understand that for many pupils that is their only hot meal of the day Mm. and we really want to make sure that that we provide that and a quality meal what what are the Um, substitutes that that people are using so yeah so some of the substitutes you'd be looking at are probably increasing things like vegetable protein um, to bulk out dishes um, and obviously the more the more expensive cuts of meat, as I've just mentioned. Um, but yeah, it's it's becoming um, extremely challenging for members at the moment. And then add to which, of course, um, we have the issues of, of recruitment and the costs. You know, living wages have increased as well. Um, and for most caterers, the funding is 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 usually set for the year. Um, And as schools face their own pressures with increasing fuel bills as we come into September, um, schools are going to be struggling to make decisions about where they spend their money. Yeah. Um, And and obviously are not in a position to be able to to potentially pass on some of that funding to the caterer. Is there any slack anywhere? I mean, any money anywhere that can be squeezed, do you think? Because um, and obviously Andrew Selly, who talks to us quite regularly on on the programme and feels very passionately about free school meals, but I mean, obviously Bid Food is a, is a profitable company, is a company that makes money out of these things. Is it, are, do you feel that the suppliers that you deal with are themselves treating you decently and, 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 and charging fair prices? Absolutely. I think, you know, certainly we've, we've had a very turbulent um, two, three years through the pandemic and all our suppliers have supported us incredibly well. Um, and it, it's not just the larger companies such as Bid Food. Um, you know, it's right down to the small fruit and veg local. Um, lots of our caterers do buy local that, you know, and want to buy British. And that that is a big issue for us um, because we, we want to support that circular economy. Um, and certainly they they've 
I can only speak in my own area, you know, our, our local butcher, he's he's tried to source alternatives, but it's very soon going to be getting to the point where, you know, the option of buying British chicken may be, well, sorry, no, we, we really can't afford to do that anymore. And I think that's a very sad day. And what would the alternative there be? I mean, can you get it chicken? It would be European. It's same welfare standards, but it would be European chicken. Right. So the so the support given to British farmers and the British food industry would would as well be reduced as well as the actual quality of the meals. Yes. And I think, you know, the, that's, that's the whole point. You know, it's just it's circular economy, isn't it? You know, we, we want to spend that money in the UK. Um, so I, I do feel that, um, you know, this is this is really becoming a perfect storm. Just actually, the final the, point the of what the government said. The government say they've expanded access to free school meals more than any other um in recent decades um, and they're going to keep free school meal eligibility under review in other words they might they might be persuaded to expand the numbers of children who can get them we're not now talking about infants I suppose we're talking about about older children as well I mean the, the, the point the government make is you've got a limited amount of money and you've got to spend it carefully I appreciate that, but um, I was really disappointed this week to see that um, that the government didn't take up the National Food Strategies, Strategies recommendation of extending free school meals to all those parents that earn less than the £20,000 per annum. That, that surely, in, in these difficult times, a lot of families would stop a lot of children falling through the cracks because there are parents that work that aren't entitled to free school meals. And, mm. you know, we, we're hearing more and more of, of children saying, well, no, we can't afford to pay for a school meal. And that, that to me is is um, is really important issue, and I think the government needs to look at at that most urgently and at, at raising that level to twenty thousand. All right, Jackie Blake, uh, chair of the Lead Association for Caterers and Education. Thank you very much for talking to us. It's now twenty.